Hello students, Mr. Murphy here. Let's learn about one of the most effective models of learning vocabulary, the Freyer model. This is the whole model. The vocabulary is front and center, surrounded by parts. So let's take a deeper look at each section. Start by entering the vocabulary word right in the middle, so we always know what word we're talking about. In academic vocabulary, we aren't limited to just a single word. Next comes the definition. The most important thing after the word itself is what does the word mean? This definition should be from the glossary or dictionary, but underneath, you should also include the definition in your own words. Next is characteristics. This is often the hardest. You have to expand on the definition. In math, we can often think about what are the keys that we're looking for, or what images do we look for. Bottom left is examples. This is often the easiest, but be careful. You want to add some non-traditional examples not just the easy ones. Pictures and drawings should also be included. Finally, we come to non-examples. This is often the key to understanding the vocabulary word. An example is easy to write and then forget, but a non-example makes your brain think about what is really important. Don't forget to add pictures or drawings. In the end, the Freyer model is a great strategy for learning new vocabulary words, and I hope you use it often. Congratulations on staying all the way to the end. I hope you learned a lot about vocabulary in the Freyer model and I'd like you to show me what you've learned. Pick one of the vocabulary words listed below the video on the web page, and then click on the template for the Freer model, make a copy of it, put your word right in the middle, and fill out the rest of the template. Online preferably, but if you struggle with that, you are welcome to print it out and do it by hand.